Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be talking about a missing piece from the Godot game engine, and thankfully an add-on that can fix it. This is something that's actually bothered me about Godot since the very, very beginning, and it's something that is in basically every single other 3D game engine out there, and for what I'm looking at right now, this is Phantom Camera's demo. Now, I did a video about Phantom Camera a few days ago. It is an absolutely awesome project. If you've never heard of this before, basically it brings cinemachine-style camera controls to the Godot game engine, both in 2D and 3D. So as you can see, we can navigate around the scene like this. It's switch to an over-the-shoulder shot, or if you're creating a Resident Evil-type cinematic game, as you switch between rooms, you have different camera controls. It's a really cool add-on. I would highly recommend going ahead and checking that out. Again, the good news is I have already done a video on it. But why I'm talking about it today is what you can actually do is I can select a camera in the scene like so, and you're going to notice I have a phantom camera tap. This is sort of a workaround for what I'd like. I'd like to have a preview of the camera I'm working on. Now, right now, you could do this. You could select a camera object and get preview, but it goes full screen on you. There's other ways around this. So if you go into a new 3D scene, uh, all right, so let's add a camera into it. Uh, camera 3D like so. So I can grab that camera and then I can go ahead. Let's get rid of this guy down here. And what I could do, and this is the workaround that I use, and it's kind of annoying, but if you're positioning thing in the world, what you do is basically select a camera and toggle one view into preview mode. So that way when we move around in the scene, um, the other camera will update accordingly, like so. So it gives you the ability to place things. Now, unfortunately, this takes up a full half of a screen. Uh, I know you could split it into thirds or whatever, but it's still, if you don't want to have a single viewport, which I think is the default for most people, this is not the greatest workaround in the world. Now, what every single other game engine out there has is a real-time preview. So let me go back to a single viewport view and show you how you can get this. So this was actually released like the same day I did that video on the uh, Phantom Camera. And one of the things I said to Phantom Camera is that this missing functionality annoys me. Well, now you can go in here to plugins and there's this little guy here, little camera preview. And we'll go ahead and turn that one on. So this was from Anthony Cossins. Uh, so we enabled it now and then boom, immediately, if you select a camera in the scene, so nothing selected, boom, camera selected, you'll get a camera preview. So if I move the guy around, like so, you're going to get the preview picture in picture. This is quite literally exactly what I have always wanted. This is essentially become a must-have add-on for me. And in my humble opinion, uh, and I know add-ons are controversial. Some things should be an add-on. Some people say terrain should be an add-on. Some people don't. Um, extended tools and so on. Some of these things make sense to be add-ons. This should be core functionality, and this implementation is very good. So what else can I do with this guy? Well, I can also come down here, and I can expand it out however I wish. The cool thing here is I can also grab it and move it around from a corner to corner to corner. So I don't know if I can go to that corner. It might be just limited to the bottom corners here. Yeah, I think I am because the, the widgets get in the way. Uh, you can resize things down and I can say, yep, I want this auto always here. So if I deselect, my camera stays set. And honestly, this is, again, in every game engine out there, although this implementation is better than, I think, the way that Unity does it by default, as an example. I love this. I think that this is going to go in every install I ever do of Godot forever. And I think this should be built into Godot itself. So if you want to grab this guy, basically just clone the repository, add the add-ons folder into your project, and then, like we saw here, go into the project settings, go to plugins, and enable little camera preview. Even better, you do not have to go and download it because what you could do is just go to the asset library, search here for little camera, and you will find it available right here. So you can grab it this way. Uh, so no need to do anything special. It's literally built in. And yeah, that's it. So if you want to learn more about it, this is, again, an open source project. It is under the MIT license. It currently has 168 stars, and I think we can definitely bump that one up. So if you, like me, have been missing this functionality forever, just go ahead and, and grab this guy. It is a, a very cool tool. It works extremely well. It is available via the asset library. Uh, you can also download it from itch if you want to toss him a buck or two. It is one of those tools that does just exactly what you want it to do uh, and no more. So add-ons wise, you can see how it was implemented. It's all done in GD script. So if you want to learn how they did things, a very simple process. Uh, so like I said, this was released pretty much the same day <laughs> like as I did that phantom camera, possibly the day before. So basically I was bitching and complaining and moaning about how this functionality isn't available out of the box. And the Godot community came through again because quite frankly, it is available. And now the only thing I think needs to happen is this should be added in the box, in my humble opinion. This is definitely one of those features that should be built in. And if it's just a matter of implementing this as the default, I am good to go. Now, I know there's a project out 
there so you can set up like a default template so you can grab a bunch of add-ons and automatically have them added to your Godot project when you create a new project. That would solve the problem too. I would love to see that solution come, but I know that's still something it is in development. By the way, if you're interested, the other project we saw earlier on is Phantom Camera. Again, bring Cinemachine style camera controls to the Godot game engine. A super, super, super powered feature and functionality. It, it is awesome what this guy is capable of doing. All kinds of different camera functionality. I did a video about it already, uh, but if you have not used that one yet, it is quite simply one of the single best add-ons out there for the Godot game engine. And frankly, this guy, uh, this, it, it's a simple add-on for sure, but it solves a problem that I have had with Godot for a decade or however long Godot has been out. And, and I love this because again, when you're precision kind of trying to position a, um, a camera in space, you always end up trying to you know, work around it to, you know, either like that split screen view or whatever. This quite literally simple add on and boom. Again, you can pin them, unpin them, resize them, move them. Beautiful tool, highly recommended. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the Godot little camera preview. If you do like what you see, drop this guy another star because it deserves so many more than it's got right now. Let me know what you think of this add-on and are there other little life-changing small add-ons for Godot that you absolutely recommend? If so, let me know them in the comments down below and maybe I will feature them in an upcoming video. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.